You can save fuel, save money, save your engine by using your clutch properly with diesel engines, especially electronic applications. The rising cost of fuel threatens everyone in the trucking business. Because of its cost and its environmental impact, we all want to reduce the amount of fuel we use. There's been a breakthrough in truck engine technology that will help us all save a significant amount of fuel if we learn to use the clutch properly. Your engine's running. You're ready to move. Depress your clutch to the floor to engage the clutch brake. Move your shift lever into a low startup gear. And here's where something new happens. Engage the clutch slowly without depressing the accelerator. Engine electronics will now take over and provide the right amount of fuel. It will even sense your vehicle weight, the torque required, and provide the necessary fuel for your fully loaded vehicle. This technique of starting to move without touching the throttle is called idling away. You must keep your foot off the throttle while idling away, or you'll waste fuel and possibly cause damage to your clutch. Once the vehicle is in motion, you may now accelerate as conditions permit. As you move through the gears, be sure to always double clutch. This technique is very important to the life of your drivetrain components. Here's a review of the prescribed double clutch procedure. Depress your clutch pedal when you're ready to move to the next gear. Be careful not to press the clutch pedal all the way to the floor or you will engage the clutch brake. With the clutch pedal depressed, shift into neutral and release the clutch pedal. This will allow the engine RPM to drop, matching the engine and the drivetrain RPMs. Depress the clutch pedal again and shift into the next highest gear. Release the clutch pedal and accelerate. Again, remember not to press the clutch pedal to the floor or you will engage the clutch brake. The double clutch technique should also be used whenever downshifting. Of course, this procedure is simply the reverse of an upshifting double clutch. As the engine approaches the low RPM shift point, depress the clutch pedal and move the shift lever to neutral. Release the clutch pedal and raise the engine RPM to match your engine and driveline speeds, which may be a governed speed. Depress the clutch pedal again and shift into the next lowest gear. Release the clutch pedal and decelerate. Once again, remember not to press the clutch pedal to the floor or you will engage the clutch brake. Note, for maximum clutch life, free pedal, the free movement of the pedal in the cab before resistance is felt, should be a maximum of one and one half to two and one half inches. Plan on a clutch adjustment when free pedal is approaching a minimum of one half inch. Important, running out of free pedal will cause the clutch to slip resulting in damage or complete failure of the clutch. So here's a quick review of the clutch techniques just described. Always idle away when driving electronically equipped engines. Once the engine is started, engage the clutch brake, shift into low gear, and release the clutch pedal slowly without touching the throttle pedal. Let the truck move away on its own. Always double clutch whenever you upshift or downshift your vehicle. Depress the clutch pedal, shift to neutral, release the clutch pedal, matching engine and drivetrain RPMs, then depress the clutch pedal and shift to the next higher or lower gear. To save engine wear and tear, please remember these tips. Use steady force on the shift lever when completing shifts. Never force the shift. Never coast in neutral. And never downshift at road speeds that are too fast. Your driving technique is one of the keys to the success of your business. And especially when driving electronic diesel engines, knowing how to properly idle away and double clutch will provide the bonus miles that may mean the difference between success and failure.